Hello and welcome to In the Shop. I'm Tom Grissom. Today I would like to demonstrate how I'm drilling dog holes into my new workbench tops. So I've recently taken on a project to build this new workbench. Uh, this one has a lot of function and convenience built in for the way that I work. It's a dual top. It's got a top on the left and the right hand side and you can see the right hand side now. I already have all the dog holes drilled uh, over there. So it also has a tool well, which I find very handy uh, for working on either side of the workbench. So what you see here is my dog hole setup. This is an indexing pin system. Um, all, it, all it consists of is a sheet of plywood with a three-quarter inch hole drill. I'll just go ahead and demonstrate here. Okay. Drill a hole, and then behind that hole is an indexing pin, and I, I'm using these uh, Craig uh, bench dogs, so this is serving as my indexing pin. So I've already started on a row of holes, and I'll just go ahead and knock the sawdust off of this one. But you can see it's just a, a, a sheet of three-quarter inch plywood with the uh, drill guide mounted here. I've got it bolted to this, uh, uh, to this piece of plywood. It also has a guide rail on the side, and I've cut this to the thickness that matches up the center line here for this drill hole as I march the dog holes down the bench. But the key to the system is this indexing pin. So once I drilled that first hole, I measured exactly four inches because that's the spacing that I want to have these dog holes, and then did another, I drilled another hole, and that one serves as my indexing pin. So you can see here, this is my last hole, so I'm going to place my indexing pin into that hole. So I'll just line this up, put that uh, crate dog uh, into that. Now I make sure that my guide rail is up against the bench here all the way and now that I'm ready to drill another hole. Now I'm using a three-quarter inch Forstner bit. It's carbide tip. It's a high quality. You want these dog holes to be cut cleanly and also at 90 degrees. That's why I'm using this drill guide. Uh, make sure your drill guide stays at 90 degrees. Place it down there when you're ready to cut. Let's go ahead and do a, a drill hole here. Now I usually slow down there at the end just to make sure that I get a clean exit cut. If you wanted to, you could uh, place a backer board uh, underneath. I found with this carbide tip portion or bit, there's no need. So now then I'll take out my index pin slide down my jig, put it into the next hole, make sure that I'm up against the edge again because the whole point of this system is to make sure that your dog holes are in a straight line. Everything looks good. I'm at 90 degrees here. Let's drill another hole. And there you go. Take out your index pin and slide it down to the next hole and so on and you can very quickly march down. Now I've got 14 holes to, to drill on this side. Once I finish uh, this using this jig on this side I need to come around and then I'm going to drill a second row uh, on this left uh, side of the, of the workbench and I'll have to adjust this guide to however deep I want those holes. But this is a very easy system to do. The key is the, the drill guide to keep your uh, bit at 90 degrees and then also the indexing pin is what makes this system work. So I've got a perfectly aligned because I'm using the edge guide. I've got perfectly spaced four inch uh, dog holes on center and that's really all there is to it. So until next time, this is Tom Grissom. See you in the shop.